And you want to talk about a guy that's impressive, a guy that has lived his life with purpose and by his own rules. <laughs> some hunting today i was not expecting to find anything at all and i found some things but not a lot of things but i really wasn't expecting to find anything about three days ago uh, c and d cases uh, hit target um and so you know there was just this huge frenzy to go out there and get up you know pick up as many of those cars as you could and i got my share you know so i'm pretty happy about that um, but today all gone <laughs> like everything is gone the, the pegs are empty and now we're back to old a and a and b cases cars that are just warming the pegs that's what's on there um but i found some things and you know again you always go out and look because you never know when something new is gonna hit or pop up or you know, something that you kind of want for your collection that you weren't you know, weren't expecting to see um but a funny thing did happen i was in, i was in a walmart there's two of them that are kind of by my house and uh, it's no secret, the Mustang Hunter, uh, he lives pretty close to me. And so we, we kind of hunt the same area. And there's his Walmart and there's my Walmart. His Walmart is closer to him, my Walmart is closer to me. Well, anyways, I was at his Walmart today and I'm just kind of pilsing around looking for looking for cars. And uh, his his Walmart had nothing. It was, it was bad, it was worse than mine. And my Walmart normally has, like, is the bad one. But um, yeah, his Walmart had nothing. It was it was pretty bad. But while I was there and I was digging through the cars, this guy comes up to me and goes, hey, aren't you the Mustang Hunter? And I laughed. I, I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, my, my sleeves, they're not camouflaged. And, uh, and he laughed. He thought that was pretty funny too because he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I didn't tell him who I was, but he was like, I swear I've seen you before. And so... Maybe he'll watch this video and realize that who he saw was King Nut, not the Mustang Hunter. Um, no camouflage. Anyway, but I did I did find some things. I found some good stuff. Um, while I was out uh, at Target today, I and man, I, I should have been videoing while I was out there hunting. But again, I didn't think I was going to see anything. And I'd have loved to have got that on camera, that guy asking if I was a Mustang Hunter. Because that was truly funny. But... um. Well, I was at Target today, I found this. I found the this Acura NSX in the ID car, which I didn't have and I want. I've been looking for it. Um, that burnt orange is gorgeous. I love that perspective flame. So I should start breaking these ID cars out of their boxes and then, you know, taking pictures of them and showing them off a little bit more. That's what I should do. These are nice. I am finding that I'm really enjoying the, the ID cars. Um, but yeah, you know, so I picked that up. It'll sit over here with the other ID cards that I have. I enjoy it. Uh, so again, like I said, I was out specifically today looking for the factory 500 cars and I did, I did find some of them. Um, let's go over it. What I did find there, there's 10 cars in this set. So I found four of the 10 and I think eventually I'll get all 10. I don't think any of these are going to be uh, real hard to find. Um, they're just now coming out though, so they're new, so everybody's grabbing them up. But I was looking at these castings of these cars and none of them are new. They're just all recolors. So we've seen all these castings before, just in different colors. But this uh, this white Corvette, I love this color scheme on this car. Uh, tail lights, headlights, that white with the red stripe. Um, dark window tint. This is, this is really nice. I like the way this is done. I would tell you what kind of wheels those are if I knew, but I don't. Um, again, talking about the Mustang Hunter, I, I'm actually, I'm impressed with how well he knows Hot Wheels wheels. Like he will tell you whether they're Steelys, you know, five spoke, 10 spoke, who designed them. I mean, the guy, he just, he's very knowledgeable when it comes to these cars, but I just tell you, hey, look, it looks cool. <laughs> and that's what I go for. I grab cars that look cool. And all 10 of these that are in this, 
they picked some good ones because I'm gonna have all 10 of these cars. They're all cars I'm looking for. But uh, yeah, that, that white Corvette looks good. Look at that hood, the hood scoop. The detailing in this cast, yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, again, another one that I think the casting is done proper and the car looks, looks the way it's supposed to is this Camaro, it's a project car. Um, and we've seen this before because I have this exact casting and I already measured it up to it. It's the, it came out as a treasure hunt early in 2020. And I, I have it because I accidentally found it. <laughs> like I, I brought it home. I didn't realize it was a treasure hunt until I got it home, but yeah. So we've seen this cast before, but it, it's just so well done. The detailing in it is so well done. Wish they had some taillights on it, but when you look at the lines and just the proportions of this car, it's done right. I like how the this front grille with the headlights incorporated into the grill are, I mean, you don't have to paint it. It just looks, it looks right. So, I even like the color. I like green. I like this green on this car. I'm typically not someone who likes green cars, but but I do I do like this. I like, I like how they've put this together. Um, so let's see, moving on, moving on. The McLaren 720S in this blue. Saw this in the, uh, this cast came out in the Fast and Furious. I have it right here. It's easy to grab and kind of compare. But yeah, the 720S. 10 spoke. Oh, look, they got the same, same wheels. I think this is the 10 spoke. Yes, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to say that's the 10 spoke wheel. Is what they call it. But they have the same wheel. But I have to tell you, you know, I like this blue. This blue pops. Yeah, this blue pops. I like this. Um, I think I like it better than that that charcoal gray one from the Fast and the Furious. And the McLaren 720S. Cool. Then I have the uh, the Dodge Viper, and I love this red. This is the same color that they used on the GameStop exclusive GT500 Mustang. Um, and it's just, it's a great color. It looks so good. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Just the lines, the lines on this car. I really like this Dodge Viper and how they've done it, how they put it together. It's really nice. Front headlights, nothing on the back, which is unfortunate, but Man, that just looks good. That looks really good. I'm gonna have to find a second one of these because this, this car definitely needs to be photographed. Um, and we've seen, again, I have a casting of this. It was a mystery car. Uh, the mystery car number three out of the series three. It's way back. Oh, my chair. Sorry for the squeaky chair, guys. There we go. There's that Viper. Yeah, so so we've seen these cars before, but this is the mystery car number three out of the series three. Um, but this red, I mean, I think this red looks so nice. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Now, when we look at these cars, there's only one that I think is gonna be hard to come by, hard to find, because as soon as it hits the pegs, they're gonna get gobbled up, and that's this Porsche. The Porsche 911 uh, GT3 RS. It's a nice cast. I mean, ever it, it it's just a nice cast. Uh, it's gonna be a great color. It's yellow. When you do see it, it'll be yellow, and it'll have Porsche written on the the fin. This is the casting that they're using for it. So if you wanted to, to get an idea, so it'll look like this, but it'll be yellow. It'll have Porsche written across the wing. Um, I mean, that's, it's a gorgeous casting. It's really nice. So I think that's gonna be a, a car that's gonna be hard to come by. Um, so hopefully, you know, the next time a set gets put out there, I'm I'm there first to get them. Um, speaking of Porsche, so like three days ago, three, four days ago, before the big drop of the C and D cases, you know, stole all the excitement. Like the day before that happened, I actually found this and I didn't like display it or talk about it because uh, while well, we were all talking about the, these, this amazing DK drop, but I came across this Majorette 
Porsche edition. And, whew, guys, this is, this is phenomenal. I love this. This yellow GT3 RS is just gorgeous. And this Porsche 935. I'm sorry, it's the 934. Is I love it. It's good looking. I mean, they're all good looking cars. But man, oh man, I like this. Majorette. And then normally I stick to Hot Wheels or Matchbox, but I'm gonna have to start venturing into some other some other diecast cars because this is gorgeous. I love this. This looks really good. So speaking of course, today is you know one of those wet, rainy days. I've been inside and I went out briefly to go and find some stuff, but for the most part, I've just been inside all day watching YouTube, you know, reading up on stuff. And I looked up Magnus Walker because um, I knew he's a big name in the Porsche community. Uh, he's iconic in the Porsche community, uh, much like RWB. Um, kind of cool if the two of them came together and did a collab. But, uh, you know, he's, like I said, he's just iconic when it comes to Porsche. Um, but I, I looked up his story. Um, his, there's like a documentary out there. And actually, I, not only did I watch the Urban Outlaw video or movie that, that there is out there, it's like 35 minutes, it's not very long. They call it a movie, but it's not very long, it's like 35 minutes long. Um, but you know, I, I looked up some other things and, and basically like his bio and, and did some reading up on Magnus Walker. And you wanna talk about a guy that's impressive a guy that has lived his life with purpose and by his own rules, that's Magnus Walker. Um, super inspirational, but like I said, he's a huge name in the Porsche, in the Porsche community. And uh, his his car is this, he drives the Porsche 911. Um, it's the one he likes, it's, it's the car he loves. And uh, this is his daily, actually. Um, the 277, it's a Porsche 911, but 277, that's the number that he, when he raced, when he was doing his, you know, racing around and stuff, he, he raced this car. Um, but the, his name's all over all kinds of vehicles, like Hot Wheels has slapped his name on a bunch of stuff. But uh, he actually, when, when, you, when I was watching and reading up on him, when Hot Wheels made this car, uh, it's <laughs> like, he's so proud of it. He feels like this is when he made it, when Hot Wheels made him his, a version of his car. So this is when he felt like he's, he, like he's made it in life. But the reason why I was kind of looking him up and I knew he was an icon with Porsches and stuff, but the reason why I was looking him up is because recently in DK's, uh, the, this 935 slant nose um, came out in his livery, in the Magnus Walker livery. Now he owns one of these, but he, it doesn't look like it's painted in, in this livery. The only car that I think he has is this one that's in this livery uh, is the 911 but um so i was looking it up because of this actually and getting more information i wanted to know more about magnus walker i'm glad i did you should do it too you'll have a bigger appreciation for him the hot was also came out with this color variation for the magnus walker which is totally wrong his car doesn't look like this it doesn't have the blue hood and the red it's, it's this it's the opposite so i have i'm really confused as to why hot wheels came out with this color variation for this car doesn't really make sense, but there's this. Um, he actually carries one of these in his pocket. This is, he calls it his rabbit's foot. And I've, I've heard of other collectors where they'll carry a car, they, they get a Hot Wheels, they take a car with them, they put it, put it in their pocket and um, they go hunting for Hot Wheels with a lucky car in their pocket. Well, Magnus Walker, he actually said that he carries one of these all the time in his pocket. It's his, uh, it's his rabbit's foot, as he calls it. So I also am going to start carrying a car in my pocket. And maybe it'll help me get out there and find a super treasure hunt. Because this guy is yet to find a super treasure hunt. So, so because Magnus Walker carries this car in his pocket, I'm going to also carry this car in my pocket. Um, yeah, this is going to be my lucky rabbit's foot car. So I think maybe this should be the photo montage or you know what I'll do. We should do a, a little combination of these two cars in a photo montage together. Yeah. I like that. 
but this is going to be my lucky rabbit's foot.